Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of June 22nd, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by and as always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link below this video in the description box. Want to remind you, Pisces, June 18th running through July 12th is the time of Mercury retrograde, which is your time frame of the unexpected. And that these are general readings to which I hope something will resonate with you guys. So, Pisces, first thing out the gate, you have to dig for your patience. Dig for your patience. Someone is irritating you. Okay? Everything you want's within reach, but it's going to be aggravating because, like I said, you're not the most patient sign in the world, so just remember that. Expect good luck and abundance. Um, I do want to say be warned around ac about accidents close to home, around home, uh, whether it's um, personal injury or car accidents. Just be warned of it, okay? New doors are opening for you guys, and it's going to require that you have your rest and be ready to go. This is really what I want to say to Pisces. Dig deep. Trust where you're being led. Okay? Things can change very suddenly. So we're looking at Pisces. This is your week of June 22nd, 2020. Okay, Pisces, Four of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, um, Ace of Wands, and the Moon. So let me break this down for you guys. I'm going to pull you three more. Two warning cards have popped out for you, but that's all purpose of these readings. What you need to know. Starting with get the rest that you need. And I say this because it does look like you're going to have to dig it out. And it's going to be a busy week ahead for you guys. Next to that, showing you've still got some obstacles upcoming. And your first warning card coming in with that seven of swords. Never pretty Pisces. This is a direct to the point answer. Someone is lying to you. Someone close to you, someone in your circle, someone is lying to you. Moving forward, we have that Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, uh, warning with um, money. It shows some financial stress, things of that nature. But it's also indicating it's going to be brief in passing those money problems because you're also under a new beginning and that new beginning is now. Now, tying in with that Seven Swords of Someone Lying, there is the Moon card indicating deception okay so one individual here that cannot be trusted not two but just one moving forward there it is there's ten of swords someone has done you wrong but then we have the bonus card and the four of wands this is what i'm saying here pisces Bonus card, because this is a collector's deck, so there's only a couple bonus cards in here. So the couple coming in stronger than the lovers or stronger than um, the magician. Okay, so when you're really strong in your love life, and I always say that you are working for the Four of Wands or the Ten of Cups. You guys got the Four of Wands. Um, relationships, okay. Rest before further development, but this is commitments lifetime commitments, marriages, vows, living together, long-term relationships is what I'm seeing here for Pisces, okay? Um, what this is leading up to, when I'm looking at lies, deceptions, someone that has done you wrong, it is not this person. This, I really feel, and like I said, this is a general reading that I hope that resonates I really feel this is a person in the past trying to interfere with this. Okay. Now, with this retro, we do have an intense reuniting with the past. Okay. People in the past trying to resurface. And don't let this interfere with this is what I want to say. 
because you're strong here in the love life. Don't let deceptions and lies ruin that. Okay, Pisces. I don't have the only major arcana I've got is this one, the deception. The other major arcana we have is the happy couple. So yeah, um, several people around for whatever reason, what may or may not resonate with you. I have a Scorpio and a Virgo that may or may not resonate. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Contact me at JackieTomlin.com to get a personal reading, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.